Residents of the affected areas have a sense of emptiness, hopelessness and resignation. The enormity of the destruction and losses frightens even the strongest mentally and physically. But despite the fatigue, cleanup must begin as soon as possible. Yesterday it was full of people, and today it's empty. It's a total desolation. In time, everything will return to normal, you know. But how to survive it? These were terrible days, horrible. We have never experienced this before. I feel very terrible. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Road and rail transportation is paralyzed. Trains and buses are not running. Many flights have been diverted or canceled. Valencia's main access roads are closed. Hundreds of trucks are stuck in parking lots. Since the highway has been cut off by water, they've told us to wait here. We're asking police officers how long it will take, but they don't know anything. We will definitely not move until tomorrow, and in the morning, we'll see. The central and regional governments will provide 250 million euros in emergency aid, including 6,000 euros for each person affected, as well as grants to rebuild housing and homes. Stay at home. Listen to the recommendations of the emergency services. We have committed all resources to search for those missing for as long as it is necessary. Meteorologists say that in many places, as much rain has fallen in a few hours as usually falls in a whole year. Nearly 100,000 households remain without electricity. Material damage is difficult to estimate, but it is already known that it will run into billions of euros. Unfortunately, theft has also been reported. Spanish police have arrested 39 people suspected of looting in the affected areas.